what sketches they want, and then from there they'll do what we call rendering in Photoshop, which is a pretty sophisticated form of drawing. Uh, after this point, they make a clay model, and then they'll go ahead and cast um, their plastic models. And in most cases, they do only do half of a car because it's a little less expensive than doing the full car. Um, but in some cases, they do the full one, like you see here. Walk over this way. Um, I'm watching the coolest majors here at DAP. Um, but this sort of shows like our design process here. You start off with your pencil rendering, and then you might do some other sketches and some shading. Then you'll render it in marker. Then you'll send it into the computer and render it on the computer. Do different perspectives, do different close-ups, and then you make a 3D model. What's really cool is that all these 3D models that you see here were made right in this building. You do not have to leave the building to do it. We will see the show, we'll see the room later on that you can make it in, but it's just a really nice um, thing to have here at DAP that you can make all these products. You don't have to source them out, and it saves students a lot of time and money. So if you just um, center the ellipses around the center point, and then, and then redraw this so that it's more like this. Because this, this is a, it feels a little bit different. And I think because of that, you've got a strange shape down here, and that's why that got a little bit strange. It's not an ellipse with, or a circle with a, a flat.